Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today I'm an Astro Nier. So I would do a big intro and everything but it's not a playthrough it's just a tutorial so I guess we'll just jump right into it. Okay so this video is going to be 10 tips and tricks for Astro Nier on uh, just random stuff just tips and tricks for Astro Nier, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy this video um let's get it started. I don't even have to do a jump cut or anything, I just have to, um, walk over here. So, tip number one is gonna be soul getting solar arrays. So, and and also just a strategy with these things. Um, get these solar arrays, they're very, very good. They provide tons of power, a ridiculous amount of power. Um, they s help a ton with gateway shrines, if you're trying to activate gateway shrines. Um, oh, by the way, um, spoilers, spoilers, this will, uh, spoil the all the game this is like um gonna spoil a lot of stuff in the game just want to put that out there uh if you don't want to have a bunch of this stuff spoiled you might not want to watch but yes let's continue um these solar arrays are amazing and um you will need a large printer which isn't too hard to make all you need is let me go to the bottom here is this three compound and a medium printer so how do you make these you're asking all you need is one copper so that's malachite you need one glass which is quartz and then plastic and graphene. Now, plastic and graphene are a little bit harder to get. Plastic is, plastic and graphene are both made here at the chemistry lab. Graphene is made of uh, graphite and hydronize. Graphite can be found on any planet. And hydronize is made of two ammonium at the chemistry lab. And then plastic is carbon and compound. And carbon is uh, flora that's been put into this melting furnace. So once you get one of these babies, uh, they'll be right here. See, you can place it down and do whatever, but what I recommend doing with them is uh, putting them on a rocket ship. Now, my rocket ship's actually on the other planet because I haven't actually retrieved it yet. I'm going to actually do that later, but um, you, you put it on your rocket ship. Uh, by the way, probably a large one. It'll work with a medium one, but a large one prefer probably. Um, and then you take that to a different planet and use that to activate the gateway shrines. Okay, everyone, uh, the next tip, tip number two, is how amazing the flatten tool is. So see, all you have to do is hold it down. It should be control. If it's not, you can switch it in your controls. And you just hold this thing down, you start walking down, and you just flatten the ground. Like, you don't need to do some crazy pathways or anything. Just walk down. I'm actually going to dig this little ceiling out. It's a bit high. And you can even make it steeper. You're like, eh, I want this to be steeper, because I like my pathways really steep. You can you can switch, and then you can go steeper. This The flatten tool is just really overpowered, guys. It's really good. And actually, I ran out of energy, because I can't, so I can't use it. Or, give me a minute. Is it this that I'm worried about, I think? Uh, all you need to do, you just, it's, it's so overpowered, guys. I'm sorry you can't see. Um, but it's so overpowered. All you have to do is just go down with this thing. It's amazing for going down. You can flatten the ground so things are easier to do. It's just so overpowered, guys. You need to use the flatten tool. Don't even make the whole hold all and spew crap everywhere kind of thing. You don't do that anymore. You need to use the amazing flatten tool. And by the way, guys, if you haven't realized, I have the beautiful galactic skin and all of its, its glory. I'm not actually using the suit. I just have the skin on and the, the visor because I, the skin just looks really weird. But yeah, uh, moving on. So guys, this isn't really a tip here. I'm just gonna say that like, ro buggies are really good. Uh, let me just open it up. Where is it? I guess this counts as a tip. Let me let me open this up so I can show you. I believe they're in here. Um, oopsie. I gotta find it, guys. One minute. Right here in the in the medium printer, all it is is a compound in aluminum, which can be made on uh, stuff just on the planet too. So like, it's really worth it to just get one of these buggies. Um, what you want to do though is usually pack them up with a battery. Let me actually do that, because this guy's going to die. Um, What you want to do is you want to get a small battery. I have one over here. Oh, it's so laggy, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, all you need to do, though, for this... I, I guess this is a bonus tip, um, just because just cause I feel like it. Um, All you need to do is just plug one of these small batteries in there, and then just start driving with this thing. And it should last an okay time. You can have two small batteries if you want. And you just got to start driving with this thing. It gives you oxygens, and like, uh, like, like it'll it'll work like a rocket ship. You can have oxygen from it and not die when you're standing around it and stuff. And, and it's just really good to have buggies, because uh, the medium and the large rovers use a bunch of batteries. So you got to be like have an RTG or something attached to them that's like super strong with energy. But just the small buggies are really nice. All you have to do is just throw a few batteries on there and start going. So yeah, that will lead us to the next tip, which is tip number three, which is um, getting how to get bites really fast. So what you have to do, there's a few steps, but we're just going to show this real quick here, is um, you're going to have to activate one of these things, probably on Silva because it's the easiest. 
But, um, go on Silva, get six medium generators, or enough, uh, amps to go with that. And you gotta, oh, activate this. And you also have to go down, dig to the center of the planet, just keep digging down. Use that, uh, that flatten tool until you get all the way to the center of the planet. And you put quartz in, uh, at the center of the planet, quartz in the little thing. You only need one. Uh, but you put quartz in, and you activate the center of the planet, and now you have an above-ground gateway shrine and the core activated, which is exactly what you want to do for this tip here. So all we have to do is we're going to have to go follow these tethers to the other side, because I flipped on the wrong side, but that's okay. We are going to need to come to the core of the planet, and we're going to jump on this thing. Oh, can I make it? There we go. Uh, we're going to go on one of these little purple things. Make sure you have lots of tethers. You should since you got down here. But, um, go on one of these, and you just need to get some Astronium, which is right over there. This is the quickest way I've found to get bites, um, unless you're doing, uh, like with a large rover, of course, or something. But I don't have a large rover to just carry around with me, obviously. So you're gonna just come down here. It's a little bit dangerous. You gotta be careful. Come over around, though. Make your way. Find some Astronium. And I don't know how much there is right here. There... I don't know. I don't think there's very much left here. Oh, did I... Okay, I think I have it still. Uh, yep. Right there. Uh, we're going to get up Stronium. Uh, generally, you want to find a big patch of it. I don't think I have a very big patch of it, but all you have to do is just gather a ton of this stuff. Just as much as you can. Fill your entire inventory. I won't be able to actually fill my inventory, though, I don't think, because there's not enough here. If there was more, I would fill my inventory, though. You'll just go keep looking for it. I'm not going to spend the time doing it, but you're going to fill your inventory with Astronium. Uh, and I, why is there, like, none here? Dude, um... Yeah, you're going to fill your uh, inventory or just get tons of Astronium, and I will show you the next step right here. Take this, all this Astronium, and dump it right on the research station. You're just going to research all this, because look at that. Uh, it's worth a thousand bytes, which is a lot of bytes. I mean, like, for, for just a piece of ore that you can fill your inventory with, a thousand, and at 400 per minute. And I'm going to show you something pretty crazy here in a second. Um... Once we hit all three of these researching, just with all these three, just that researching, watch how fast my bites go. <laughs> it's really fast. So, and that's the fastest way I know to get bites, and it's super worth it. Works amazing. Man, these buttons look sick. Um, but, um, yeah, that that's bites really fast. Uh, which then will lead us to the next tip, which is to get one of these hydronized rocket thrusters. These are amazing. As soon as you can make one, you should make one right away because it's so worth it. Very, very worth it. They they run on hydronized, which means you need two ammonium to make the hydronized. And do I have any, any ammonium right now? Uh, I don't think I have like any ammonium, but you make hydronized. I'll show you where you make it. It's, uh, there we go. Hydronized, two ammonium and hydrogen fuel, which may all you means is that you gotta get this guy right here. And he, he's right available right on Silva. So you can make this just on Silva alone. Make the hydro- where did I even put it? The hydronized thruster. Um, it's right here. Just make it as soon as you can. Because this thing will just run on this. And that's really good. And to make it, uh, I believe you make it over here. Let me- let me f uh, find it. Um, or is it hy- yeah. Uh, hydronized thruster. Um, hydrazine, my bad. It's made of titanium alloy and tungsten. So titanium alloy is made of titanium that's smelted and then put with graphene and then- yeah, basically you have to go to a place with titanium, and that's pretty much the all, all there is to it to get it. And yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Make it as soon as you can. It's amazing for rockets. Which then that leads us into the next tip, which is to put a large storage onto your rocket. So I'm going to take off this little storage right now, because I don't need it. But you're going to put a large storage on this, and you can, you can do another one down here if you want, but I, I don't want to. But uh, if you put a large storage on it, look, you just got what is that double the storage for that area and if you make another one and put another one on that's a again doubling the storage on the bottom so you've got double storage which is really really good especially if you're on a rocket but the only problem with that is that you can't put atmospheric consenders on it which is actually our next tip so i'm going to show you the next tip right now so here is the next tip guys um you're going to want to get an atmospheric consender you want to stick it right there oh uh i'm gonna oh, it's glitching with me isn't it there we go. I'm going to turn it just so it's facing that way. And I'm going to put an RTG on here because I have one. But any power source, sol medium solars, uh, small, all the, all, any power source is, uh, what you want to put on there. Oops, I got in the rocket. But you want to put a power source on there. And this is going to allow you to power this atmospheric consender right on your thing. So you can make 
all your stuff from, and you can uh on the planet that you're on right there on the rocket and what you can do is you can take off with the rocket and fly it around and just get a bunch all the different gases you need right off your rocket ship so that's a really good thing to do um and speaking of mechanics we're gonna go to the next tip this is the next tip guys and this tip is really good um i think it's pretty cool what you can do with this so what you want to do is you want to have uh to do this exact setup uh you're gonna want to have this this is a drilling and a shredding um thing at the same time so you want an rtg here because that's the best thing if you can have more than one rtg on here obviously that's better but uh, it's you just at least want to have one probably for this and you have two batteries right here two batteries medium batteries and then a drill in the front and a shredder right here and we should and then a large seats in the back and what you can do is drive around this thing it won't lose any power at all unless you're drilling or you're shredding so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let's just drill into this mountain here let's click C and let's start drilling here and I, I shouldn't lose very much power I don't think I think it might power the whole way uh, let's see did I lose any power uh, oh, I can't see. It's really hard. No, I didn't lose any power because of how strong the RTG is. The only way you're going to lose power is if, if you're driving, shredding, and you're drilling at the same time. So it's really good, guys. All you need is just the one RTG and do this. Um, and what you can do is, uh, when you want to shred stuff, you just drive this thing around, because it's super mobile, obviously. And you can just take this around, and anything you run across that you need to shred, you just throw it in here, it shreds immediately, and you stick all of the shredded content in your inventory. And then you bring that back to a, uh, trader thing, uh, what's it called? I think it's the trading station, and then all you have to do is get any resource you want, which is how I am going to get my ammonium for my rocket ship, which then, I mean, hi which turns into hydrazine that then goes to the rocket ship. But yeah, this is an amazing drill to make. Very, very good. Very good. At all. Very good indeed. So yeah, um, I'm going to try to find something to shred, and I will be back with you guys when I do. Actually, no, 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 I don't have to. I have something in my inventory. So you can take this around, as you can see. Let me, let me put this on here. Oh, not that. I wanted to put these on here i can shred those and i'm not losing any power yet until i'm digging the only way i'm losing power uh, or wait i'm still not losing power am i driving and digging that way no guys the rtg is just that good apparently nope now i'm losing power if you dig and drive you'll start losing power but it'll instantly as soon as you stop digging your power is going to regenerate again so you don't even have to worry about it at all you just have to drive cams okay, now i mean you have to get worried about getting stuck in a hole but you don't have to worry about anything else, really. I think there's something that dropped over there. But, yeah, th it's amazing drill to have. Uh, just, yeah, don't get stuck in a cave. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to get really stuck. Oh, no, guys. Uh, this is bad. Let me, I'll, I'll, yeah, let's just cut it right here. Cut it right here. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, cut the video. Cut. Cut. Oh, no. Ugh. Did you stop the camera yet? Oh, stop the camera. Guys, the next tip is, uh, it's not a very big one, but the next tip is to make, use, activate your gateway shrines with small batteries. Not medium, because you can't carry them in your inventory. Just stack your inventory up with all these batteries, and oh my gosh, it's laggy. Stack your inventory with all these batteries, and just go off. And try to activate some gateway shrines. Also, don't just use small batteries because they're not amazing. But, like, for for the later game things, it, they're obviously harder. But for earlier gateway shrines, go on with batteries. Because, for one, they're reusable. It, it's just so much easier, guys. So, yeah. Okay, and the next tip is to take your scrap that you've shredded with your shredding whatever. Or shredding whatever. And get some stuff for it. And I need some clay. Actually, no. I want some I want some graphite right now. And you can get um stuff from any planet too. It doesn't just have to be that. You can get like titanium and all the cool stuff, even if you haven't even gotten it before. So you can this is a really, really useful thing to get and uh use that scrapping scrap drill to do. I mean that scrap rover. I keep calling it a drill, guys. I'm sorry, it should be rover. And uh the way you make this is right here. It's an iron, a tungsten, and a compound. So to do that you need hematite and wolframite. Let me let me look if there's a planet with both of those on it. Um, hematite and wolframite. Let's see. Mm. So you're gonna have to go to two planets, probably one with hematite and then one with uh, wolframite. And wolframite is usually at the easier planets. Hematite's a little bit harder to get. 
But yeah, and you can get anything you want. So I just got two graphite for that one scrap I got from that one thing I scrapped. And then I can turn this scra uh, graphite into the graphene or whatever I want. So yeah, um, I just wanted to show you guys that this can work with any ore or anything right here. You can get malachite wool from anything. Anything you want. So yeah, it's really, really good. So guys, here is the next tip. Um, this should be tip number seven or eight, eight, I think. No, seven. Um, and you just stick one of these small, uh, rover seats on here. Your friend gets in on the rover seat, and then, uh, you, you get on the other side. You get on this side, and you can launch off with a friend on the thing. And if that doesn't seem to be working, if, uh, your small rover seat isn't working, I think you can use a large one. I've never tried it with a large, oops. You've never tried it with a large one. No, no, no. You can't use a large one, it looks like. You have to use a... Or you can use a large one. So you can put your friends in that if you want. If the if the small one's not working, you can blast off with that. So yeah, that's how you blast off with your friends to another planet. You don't have to have separate rockets or anything special. And here, guys, is the next tip. Uh, I'm just going to dig some ground over here because I don't feel like... And getting it. So what you're going to do is just make a few canisters. They're super easy to make. Just a few canisters... You're gonna cut, this is for the beginning game. When you're just starting up your game, get the soil centrifuge. Uh, use those canisters and deck out your soil centrifuge and just make the things you need. So, like, if you're missing clay, because that's something I'm usually missing, just make some clay. Don't bother with the whole, you know, looking for the stuff. Just make it at the soil centrifuge. It's amazing to do. So, yeah. And, guys, this is going to be the last tip right here of the video. Tip number 10. Uh, I'm going to do it right here. And it's to always put beacons wherever your landing spots are or nice places on the world are because trust me it pays off you want to have those beacons around it's really going to help you so let say um we're on i don't really want to waste my hydrogen eyes but we're going to do it anyway say you're going to uh caldor and also, along with this, whenever you're landing your rocket, bring a landing pad because... Oh, I just threw the... Uh, bring a landing pad because you want to put a landing pad down where you can land so you know exactly where you need to be landing. It's up there. Uh, it'll give you a nice place to land and you want to have a beacon there. So, you know, see how I didn't have to look for exactly where I was? I just knew because the beacon was there. Yes, make sure you place the beacons and make sure you use the landing pad so you land exactly where you want to be landing. Make sure your landing and your planet is pristine. So yeah, that's going to actually be it for the video today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. This is actually... Oh my gosh, it's not glitched anymore. Guys, it's a miracle. My thing was glitched and when I did this and it didn't work. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video um, on these tips here. I hope I don't sound like I'm a complete retard because I feel like I have been the entire video. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like the video if you like it and share if you really liked it. And subscribe if you're new around here. Uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!